Hi, my name's Stephen Prahin from Eden Health Foods. We're bringing a report today about a article that came out from Mike Adams from Natural News and uh, heavy metals that he found and the heavy metals he said he didn't find in, in different products. And if you don't know about this report, if you have got no idea who Mike Adams is or Natural News, this uh, short doco is going to be straight over your head. But if you have heard about some of the things that Mike Adams from Natural News has been reporting about uh, heavy metals in vegan protein powders, uh, then this video is going to be right up your alley. I think it, it all started in February uh, the 5th, just, just last month, a uh, month before last, uh, where he brought out an article on the 5th of February, I think it was, and it was entitled uh, One World Way. I mean, what a name, One World Way. And it talked about how, I'm, I'm reading actually uh, from a print up from his site, uh, one World Way tests 100 times cleaner than popular vegan proteins for heavy metals, lead, arsenic, cadmium, and mercury. Uh, but when you read the test, it only tested 100 times cleaner for cadmium. Uh, mercury and all the others are tested only 5 times cleaner. The big difference between 100 uh, and 5. Uh, it goes on to say how uh, One World Way is the cleanest protein we've tested yet. And... The, 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 I'll get into the test results. It talked about lead, uh, 0 0.2 to 0 0.8 uh, for vegan protein powders. Uh, One World Whey, which is a whey protein, was zero or next to zero. Uh, cadmium, one to two parts per million for vegan protein powders. One World Whey, 0 0.01 parts per million. Uh, uh, arsenic, uh, point popular vegan protein powders. Uh, 0.06 to 0.08 parts per million. Uh, one World uh, Way, 0.01 to 0.02. Five times cleaner on arsenic. Uh, mercury, uh, 0.03 to 0.04 parts per million. One World Way, 0.004 to 0.009 parts per million. Virtually zero, five times cleaner on mercury and so on. Uh, as he tested aluminium and things like that. And so, I thought what was interesting, he goes on to say this. He goes on to say, this is absolute proof that one world way comes from clean cows eating clean food. There's no way to, there's no way to fake these results. I don't know why you would even mention faking results. That wouldn't even come into my mind. Uh, maybe he thinks it's going to come upon him. In the fi if the final product is clean, the inputs are clean, no exceptions. Uh, and so most of the, the, the readers or subscribers that subscribe to Natural News would say, if Mike Adams says there's no exceptions, then there's no exceptions. Because we actually got a whole bunch of emails and phone calls, people saying, have you heard this? Can you believe it? And people actually, some of them really nice. I had a couple of people that were really rude, uh, almost demanding things of us. And uh, so I had a look into it and I thought, well, you know, but then I had some other people that are a bit cluey a bit more wised up, and they said, you know, we've been observing a lot of things that Mike Adams has been saying for a while now, and, you know, they kind of blew the lid on a few things. They even pointed out a few things that I didn't see. Uh, and so, you know, some of the people got hoodwinked, and, you know, some of the other people, they, they, they saw right through it. But to say that this is absolute proof that one world way protein comes from clean hours eating clean cows eating clean food. Uh, if the final product is clean, the inputs are clean. There is no exception. I mean, I can think of heaps of exceptions. Um, I'm just going to mention a couple right now, and that is, if you're testing for heavy metals, heavy metals are fat soluble. Therefore, if you want to look for heavy metals, you've got to test the fat. Of the animal, or you know, it's cholesterol. You know, so in humans, if if we were to test humans that had low cholesterol levels uh, and and didn't take chlorella uh, that binds to heavy metals and different herbs like uh, chaparral and, and you know, cleansing herbs and clay uh, and apple pectin and things like that to bind to heavy metals and pull them out, pull them out of the body. If you weren't doing a lot of those things and you had a urine sample or a fecal sample and it would come up very low, 
in heavy metals. But I could be consuming a lot of heavy metals. I could be uh, have a mouthful of mercury fillings. I could be chewing on batteries. I could be a mad hatter and, and cleaning velvet hats with mercury. I could be just loaded with mercury. But according to Mike, if if what comes out of me is clean, then I must be clean. Well, that's rubbish because anyone would say that I'm really toxic. Whereas if I took a lot of heavy, uh, a lot of chlorella, so I was really toxic, consumed a lot of heavy metals, um, but took chlorella and different things to pull heavy metals out of my body, and you took a urine sample, it was very high in heavy metals, uh, then you'd say, um, oh, you're really toxic. But really, I'm actually getting clean. I'm clean because I'm getting rid of the heavy metals. I'm not holding on to them. So just because the cow uh, or, or the, the whey protein in this case is low in heavy metals doesn't actually mean that the cow is low in heavy metals. It just means that... And by the way, we're not talking... We're talking about a food source that's coming. We're not talking about waste product from a cow. We're talking about the food source. And generally speaking... Same with a mother when, when they're breastfeeding or a cow when they're trying to feed the calf. It's, it's going to give the highest quality uh, food and nutrients. It's not going to pass through a lot of the toxins. Um, and so it's going to hold on to a lot of the mercury. So if he's still getting uh, some levels of heavy metals, then you'd have to ask, what's actually in the tissue of the animal? What are they really consuming? You couldn't say that the inputs for the what the cow's eating are necessarily clean just because the outputs are clean. Whereas a plant, on the other hand, whatever's in the ground, uh, it's going to come up in the leaves and the, the, the grains and the fruit of the, 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 the tree or the, the, the plant. And so there's a direct correlation there. Whereas with a, with a mammal or a living uh, animal, it's, 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 it's totally different. So there's a huge ex exception. And... You know, you know what's ironic is even his results on One World Way, which is one product. So he's got one product, yet the test results on a lot of them vary dramatically, like double for mercury on copper. It's like 10 times uh, diff. How can it be different if you're only testing one product? Uh, like what, what sort of... And we're going to talk a little bit later about uh, what sort of equipment he's using. Is it calibrated and things like that? Uh, I thought that was really funny, you know. I thought you'd only get a result from a single product. You're not testing a whole lot of different products. You're just testing one product. You'd get one result. But another way in which 